let's say you you start brewing a raw ale and it's commercially successful why should why should that cause people to stop brewing farmhouse ale uh, I, I i don't think it would in fact i think it would be more likely the other way around because it's been a big problem for at least in some of these farmhouse brewing regions that people look down on unboiled ale and the, they know the textbooks say that you shouldn't be doing this uh, and so the locals have had to do a good bit of fighting against prejudice basically but you know to see that uh, brewing method being used commercially and being commercially successful that would really be a quite strong argument the other way right and it would help lift the self-confidence of the people who uh, brew this way like last year i was approached by the uh, university of hans and they're gonna set up a, a project uh, now it's in his baby shoes but uh, i think next year on they're gonna put a phd on it um, about uh, integrating raw ale, uh, basically the techniques from raw ale brewers in uh, modern brewing. Uh, because, of course, cost efficiency wise, uh, time wise, labor wise, uh, it makes sense. If, if a big brewery can, can just cut the boiling uh, and make a stable beer, why wouldn't they?